hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will gonna see how to create a flood inundation map and how to extract the flood pixels using a sentinel-1 SAR data uh, inside the google earth engine so for this uh, analysis as you can see on the map for this kind of analysis you need uh, two kind of uh, two images one is the pre-event one is the post-event so we'll take two images one is before the event and one is after the event so as you can see after the event these black pixels are basically flood inundation these are the regular uh, water body so this is the before image so there is no water here and this is the after image and after that we have extracted red pixels to inundation and blue are the regular water body so this kind of map can be generated after that if you you can generate an app kind of thing and you can share this url to anybody that that person will be able to interact with this map so we'll see how to do that in google earth engine using the central SAR data so for that you need to have a google earth engine uh, account so you can uh, sign up for that from here you need you need to have only google account and in the matter of minutes you will be able to sign up for this after that just you have to go platform code editor so your this editor will open where we'll write our code here in the script so let me just open a new code editor so this is our code editor now so for uh, accessing the central one data first of all what we will do we will go here there is an option called data sets earth engine uh, earth engine on google.com so these are the data set page so you can directly go on sentinel and also we what we do we'll assess the recently the uh, assam state in the india received heavy rainfall during third week so we'll we'll assess for that only for one district of the assam called golpara we'll do the an analysis and similarly you can do the analysis for in any other district any other part of the uh, basically world you can do just you need to upload your shape for a region of interest so first of all we'll uh, on the this sentinel page just go on central sar data grd data here this is the data set page they have given about they have given information about the bands hhhv vvvh and this is the code sample code so we'll just copy this code and we will paste it here now what i will do i will just remove it i will make it simple so i will remove here also and we will be using vh so simply we will just make it vh instead of vv you can use vv also that is not a problem and after that we will filter we will use ascending and descending both like in in that case they have taken ascending descending differently we will use ascending descending both after that inside we will take e dot filter dot or like this and then we will write both so or we are using or function so either ascending just comma and either descending we will so whatever image is available we will use that instead of only ascending so we will remove this now and we will give this a name of a collection so now our collection is ready uh, one more thing we have to do after that we have to do uh, we have to filter for before and after so first of all we'll take where before collection so for before we need to select date so this collection dot filter based on this date we will filter so we'll take in the third week of uh, in the third week of may, may month assam received heavy rainfall so we'll take 2022 05 and 05 maybe up to 10 we will see 2022 similarly we'll go for the after event after we'll take from 14 to or 15 to we can say 14 or 15 anything 22 may so now we have filtered based on this now we have to select our area of interest also there is two ways either you can draw like this and you can give this geometry dot filter bounds or there is another another way if for, for particular administrative boundary you do under the asset you have you can upload here your new shape file and then you can import it so i have upload, already uploaded a lot of shape files so i will just take india district sorted this is my district shape file i'll just rename it to india dt 
after that i will create a variable dt is equal to india dt dot filter and ee dot filter dot eq based on the attribute we will filter this name and we will do, do the analysis for one district which is called golpara so now this is my area of interest dt so in before just we after that we will write here dot filter bounds dt and similarly in the after image also we will do like this just we will see and print before and after before what are the images we are able to get between this time period after that i will remove all this thing we don't need this right now if i run this code so we are getting two two elements between these dates so after that simply we will create a before image so this is now this is collection only so we are getting two two images after that we are we will create image so we have to mosaic it on mean or mean max anything you can take so what we will do before image is equal to before dot you can select the band first so we'll as we are using the vh so we will select vh this is here if you change vv then you have to select vv here as you can see right now bands so we have filter vv vh both are there dot mosaic you i will be using mosaic function for one district i think mosaic will work dot after that you can do clip and clip based on your this shape file dt similarly for after image also we will do that simply we will change is after so now we have two images before and after after that we will add this to map map dot add layer bracket before image comma then minimum value is minus 25 db maximum value is 0 db and we will give any name to it let me just give before and simply we will copy and paste after image here we have to change the name also after and here we will give the different name to it after now if i run it it will add two images to it to the map and also one thing we can do before adding it uh, we can make map dot center object so you want to whenever you run this it should center to the area of interest dt so it will zoom it to this if i run this so it will zoom to my particular area of interest and it has added as you can see now two images are added one is the before image one is the after image so this is my before image and this is my after image as you can see these are the water water log so if you, i zoom it to particular area you'll see a lot of right now it is not filtered so a lot of salt and pepper uh, effect is there as you can see so this is called salt and pepper noise speckle noise if you see the technical term is speckle noise so either you can use this image directly or you can use the speckle filtering also so for the speckle filtering i have taken the code from the internet which is which is available from somewhere as you can see a lot of salt and pepper noise are there so for filtering it what we will do i have already on direct function is there i will just copy paste this i will say i will uh, sh share this code in the description so like this this is the function as you can see now this is the whole function for refined li img and these are the two function to natural img to db 
so first our image is right uh, right, right now it is in db so we will convert it to natural then we will run the refined lee function basically we will smoothen the image and we will convert it back to the db so what we will do we will create two, uh, another before filter and ee dot image like this we will write so first we have to convert it to natural we will use this function so to natural and in the bracket we will give this before image after this to this what we will close it with the bracket and we will pass this function refinedly so we will write refinedly and again we will close it with the bracket again we will convert convert it back to the db so we'll copy paste this we'll run this function so this is now my before before filtered after the same i will copy and again after filtered okay so so i have this uh, map add we will this function speckle filter filtering all this function will keep in the last just we are calling this function we are not doing anything so after that we will add instead of before image we will add before filter or you can add all the images it's your wish before filtered and after filtered and you can give the name of here also So now if I run it, okay, there is some error. So now if I if we run this, so we'll have four images. One is before after then before after filtered. So we'll see the difference between these two images. here okay we forgot to change it to after we have to change it to after run before filter after filter now it will be okay so before filter we have to pass before image after filter we have to pass after image now if we zoom it then we will be able to see the difference so now as you can see if you switch on switch off the image you can see this image is much more smooth than the upper one so now we have before image and after image ready now we will do the analysis what we will do so we will create where flood we will try to extract the flood pixels is equal to so what we will what we will do basically here if you see we will see the what is the value of the water in the dbs first so based on that we will do some thresholding so suppose i click it here so minus 27 in the after image 13 in the before so as you can see wherever water is there in the after image so value is decreasing as you can see here 1721 and if i switch off this here so earlier minus 11 so water was not there but in the after image 23 so it means water is there so below as you can see here so sudden change in the db value is there but here this is the water body before also water is there after also water is there so we what we will do we will create a rule that in both the images the values below 20 db it means water body and if it is one image before image it is values greater than minus 20 and in the after image it is less than minus 20 then it is a flood so what we will do we will write before filter before filter dot uh, is greater than gt minus 20 dot and after
filtered sorry dot less than minus 20 so this is my flood pixels and write flood mask is equal to flood dot update so it will uh, create one it will give one value to this value flood pixels and zero to other so we'll take only one value so we'll create update mask flood dot eq eq1 equal to 1 so whatever pixels are 1 we will give it a flood mask and now we will add it we'll just create a map dot add layer here just we will give it the name of flood mask and here instead of this we will give a palette we will give a red color and that's it and we will give the name a flood mask or something any name you can give and just run it I think we have error okay before filtered okay spelling is wrong flood mask okay so we have to sp another spelling mistake is there so it should create a flood mask so what we will do we will just make a comment of this so we will add only filtered image again we will run it so now as you can see these red pixels are the water inundation due to the heavy rainfall so as you can see in the earlier image the water was not there but after the post event so these pixel we are able to extract this is the before image so this is the water body water was there in the earlier image also but right now in the second image also water is there so it has not taken this these pixels into account as you can see now if you want to see the water body also so what you can do further here one more thing you can create war water just copy paste this and we will change less than 20 in both the images if both the images value, values are low it means this is water mask water mask and we will just copy paste this and we'll instead of this we'll give it a water mask and just we'll change it here water and here also water so now we will add another image map dot add layer and here we will give water water mask and here we will give water and here you can give the different name flood inundation like this and just give the blue color to it to the water and if we will run it so we'll have two things now water also and flood inundation both the things we will we will have i will save this code and i will just give the name para assam flood as you can see now the blue color is the water body and red red one is the inundation map after that we have to calculate the statistics also so what we will do i'll just copy paste i have cre already created somewhere uh, i think this one only these three things we have to do here so now our map has been loaded as you can see so this red one is the water inundation and this blue one is the water body just we will simply copy paste this code and i will explain you so first is the total district area so whatever geometry we are using this dt is the district so we will just rename it to dt 
dt dot geometry divided by thousand in the hectares it will give area that that's why we are dividing ten thousand after that statistics so flood mask our flood mask is this one multiply e image pixel area reduced region here you have to give the geometry so we'll give dt here because for the district we want to extract and this is number of maximum number of pixels you can give it anything if pixels are too big then and print stats and after that you can divide it by 10,000 also this is stats so that so that it will be in hectares and you can print the flood area in hectares if I run it so it should print the area of district and area of this is the total area of districts here it will uh, uh, compute the area of flood inundation I will save it again so after this also if you want to add the legion and title of the map to create an app kind of thing like this so what we'll do again I will copy this thing and I will explain it we have to add a, a map legend and title so just copy paste this as you can see here first we are adding this is the legion ui dot panel so it is bottom left it will be created then legion title so we will give legion after that legion dot add title then macro color and name this function we will run so red and blue we are giving red is the flood inundation and blue is the water body same color we, which we have given earlier here same color we have to give here red and blue flood inundation water body so it will create the legion and it will add to the map then title also you can add title flood inundation in Golpara district of Assam like this and you can title or add map title if you run this so before that you can see the flooded area is 35,734 and this was in meter square so if I run this again now your your map will be having the title and the legion as you can see now so this is our uh, map so now you can save it and if you want to create an app just go on the apps here and you can create a new app and just give any name para flood map like this if you give next and you can see current contents of the editor repository script path if you can give, you have to give the name of the repository or either you can currently whatever code is there it will create based on that so you can select both in the repository you have to give this name I will give para awesome flood so whatever whenever you save this it will automatically update and you just click on publish so it, <coughs> it will publish it will, it, it will take around two minutes to get it published so right now if I click here it will say your application is not ready so we'll check it after two minutes so now you have legion you have everything here you have area so that, that's how in a matter of minutes you are able to create flood inundation map you are able to extract and just if you want to do for any other district just you have to change here uh, so I think let me just go for any other Jorhat let me go for Jorhat district here so just change this Jorhat here and here also let me just change to the title If I run this so now it will create the it will zoom it to that and it will create the flood inundation map for the Jorhat district so just you have to change now this thing your area of interest automatically it will do the anal analysis if you want to do the analysis for the whole state then you have to take the shape file of the whole state <coughs> so as you can see now the blue color is the water and red color will be the so these this value only you have to change based on your data if you are changing the VV data so just check the uh, the DB value for the water so this value you can adjust according to your area of interest only this value you have to adjust for the water body here I have taken the 20 
so as you can see now this is the water uh, flood inundation here in the Jorhat district like this is this is all uh, due to the water inundation due to the heavy rainfall so it has extracted those pixels and this is the regular water body so like this you can do the analysis very quickly let me just change it for the goal para only so just you have to change this and you have to click on run let me just change and save it again and let me run it again so now if i go on the app and i will click on golpara flood map so this application is ready so if you copy paste and you share the link to anybody that person will be able to see your map and everything like this you can zoom in zoom out you can change the background of the satellite image everything that person will be able to do so you can create a app kind of thing also as you can see these all are the agriculture fields which are flooded with the water now see these all are the agriculture fields if i just see these are the agriculture field inundated with the water so these are the images before also having water here or one more thing you can do you can take two images instead of one before one before two like here i have taken only before and after you can take before one before two images prior to that also and then you can in this uh, logic you can you can put one more and and then less than 20 again so you will be sure okay for the two dates there was no water but the third date there is specifically water as you can see now this is the water these all are inundated area so as you can see this is the earlier water body as you can this is the water body water was already there so it has not taken that into account before also water was there here as you can see these are the black pixels so this is how you can do the analysis very quickly and you can create an app and you can share the so i what i will do i, I have saved this i have sh i will share the link uh, i will share the link of this code whole code and this application also both the things in the description so you can just change your area of interest and these db's value db values based on your region so i think that's it from uh, this video guys i hope this video will help you in the analysis and please uh, gives a thumbs up to video also please do put a comment if you face uh, face any problem in the analysis i will try to reply to the comment thank you thanks a lot for watching